worse than buying a house. Um, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late, but I had some things to take care of myself. Canceling a bunch of things. A meeting with the caterer, wedding stuff. Okay. Done. Let's get out of here. What? I am not waiting for a wheelchair. No, it's not that. It's, um... I was just thinking, you know, if, if you want to move back into a, a place of your own, I would totally understand. Did you dump me and I missed something? All I said was uh, we were going to postpone the wedding, you know. I mean, nobody was dumped, but I just thought that, you know, I was going to give you an out in case you were heartbroken over the postponement. You know, I'm a lawyer. I know a lot about postponements. Mm. Listen, I like what we have okay so if uh, you can put up with me i'm yours he's so smooth that was so smooth yeah come on right. oh. oh you know what no you just take it easy for a second your doctor said that you were not a hundred percent i'm fine yeah right okay how's your sister doing uh kathy um Actually, Josh is going to be taking her out of uh, town for the summer to avoid the trial. Well, you know what? That's a good thing because, you know what, the last thing that we want is for Cassie to have to relive Tammy's death over and over it. again. So I guess Josh is going to miss the end of the big movie shoot. Well, you know, I guess it's just going to be you and me. Yeah, so <laughs> Josh won't be able to supervise Josh and Reva the movie. No, he's going to have to see it in the theater or something. <laughs> Or not, the case may be. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah. Easy. Thank you. All right. Oops. Okay. We're all set. So, uh, you know, you can ask me for help. Well, you know what? I'm not very good at that. Then lean on me, babe. Lean on me. <laughs> Come on. This all the men? Fortunately, yes. I, I'm, I'm going to get that. Gonna I get don't that. want you to tax yourself at all. You just take it easy. Yeah, I'm going to get out of your hair soon. I just got to get Doris to give me my job back first. Of course, she's going to have to start returning my calls for that to happen. It's okay to take a break. You know, I've always had a job. You know, since I was a teenager, I had a job. I can't work without a job. You know what? It's lucky for you. I love baseball. I do. Yeah? We can pop corn, drink beer, follow the entire season. How about uh, that? Uh-huh. Or movie marathons. We can do that, too. This is going to be great. You think so? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you've never spent so much quality time with me before, so I'm not sure you can handle it. <sighs> Look at that. That's a great thing. Look at that. We need more volume here. I like him. I gotta work. Got I can't work. do this. I gotta work. He's got a great butt. You okay? You think Doris is hiding from me? Of course she's hiding from you. She has absolutely no reason to keep you from your job. She doesn't need a reason. Please tell me you're back on the job. Working on it. We need to put this Foley kid away for good. Well, that's the plan. And while he's out on bail, we need to keep Daisy away from him. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Well, you're not working hard enough because she came here today to talk to him. I'll bet she did, Frank. <laughs> of course, huh? She chose Lapdog Stackhouse. The guy's a flunky. Well, how do we get rid of him? Bug spray? You have to get your job back, Jeffrey. Otherwise, Doris is going to see to it that that Grady guy gets goes free again. That can't happen because Daisy needs to get her life back on track. And that guy needs to suffer. What if I don't do anything to get my job back? What do you mean? Well, you know, what if I just did my job until someone told me not to? That's brilliant. I mean, what are they, they going to do? Come here and throw me out? The hero who got shot in the line of fire? They couldn't. No, they couldn't. Oh! oh. Uh. Yes, hello. This is Laura from District Attorney O'Neill's office. 
He'd like to arrange for a press conference. Yes, he is back on the job and he wants everyone to know. Yes, he can be reached at the same number. Thank you. <laughs> she didn't even think twice. You see, people want you back on the job. Yeah, well, Doris ain't people, Laura. What's she going to do? Tell the truth and say Alan wasn't prosecuted the first time around because she blackmailed him into marrying her? You must really want me out of the house. Only until tonight. Then I want you back in my bed. Deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey! Doors kick you out already? No, uh... But while I was there, I sent out a bunch of emails uh, telling everyone was back to work, so I figured I'd better get out of there before the everything hits the fan. Uh, hi. Mm. Hey. Hi. Oh, uh, your sister came by earlier. Oh. What'd she want? Yeah, she wanted to tell you that she and Josh were headed out of town. Oh, right. Yeah, I think she's pretty upset about this Grady Foley character being back in town and free. i got to make this case stick. Look, I managed to dig out the original police file. I'm surprised oh. Doris didn't have it shredded by now. Um, do you think you could keep Daisy out of this? Well, she's a witness. She can ID the guy as the driver. I mean, she just has to say that she didn't know what he was doing. I mean, we're not going to bring her up on any charges. I I'm not saying this as an overprotective grandmother or anything, but I'm just not quite sure what she might say on the stand. Why? Because I don't know what she's going to do or say because I think she has feelings for the guy. What? I'm not defending her. I'm just warning you because between Rafe and Grady, I'm not sure what she might say if she's put on the witness stand. Great. I was... I'll have to figure out a way to keep her out of it. But I am not going to let Alan or this Foley guy get away with this. Okay, no more slaps on the wrists. I want to make sure that this kid gets put away for good this time. How much time would that be? 20 to life. <laughs>